Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to make a wire armature for the body of your kalaka. It's gonna end up looking something similar to this, um, about six inches tall, give or take. Okay, so first everyone should have a wire that is two feet long. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the ends and I'm gonna bring the ends together. And I'm gonna take the top here, I'm gonna pull it to make a U shape. Okay, I'm gonna make an X, cross it over, and pull that loop really small. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch it here in the middle and I'm gonna give this a good twist. Maybe just once, not too many times, just once or twice, okay? That's gonna be the neck and then I'm gonna put the head on the top of this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take one straight down and I'm gonna start with the right side of the body, so this side. I'm gonna do the arm and the leg. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to measure about maybe four inches or so out and I'm gonna make a U-turn. This is an aluminum wire, so the more I fiddle with it, the harder it is gonna to be to bend. So now I'm gonna pinch here in the center and I'm gonna twist, twist, twist. There you go, okay, that's gonna be his hand. I'm gonna take the head, and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this down. So that's the whole right side of the body there, see that? Okay, now I'm gonna flip him over, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let's take this straight out about four inches in, make a U-turn, pinch it here in the center, and give it a good twist. Meow. You want the hands to be about the same size. Yes, I know, that's so interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull down. There are my two legs, they should be about even, but we'll even that out. Your arms should be about the same length also. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the center here and I'm just gonna give this a good twist maybe two or three times. One, two, three times. Okay, so I have like this cross figure here and bring my legs downwards. Okay, now I have these, which will be available to you. These are needle nose pliers, okay, so they're pointy. They also have some teeth on here, on the inside. Um, this right here is where we cut to make things even. So if I take my feet here, I just go ahead and grab onto the end there. Always put your hand over it so it doesn't fling anywhere. And then you go ahead and wiggle it back and forth. That will get you a good, even legs. Now, your kalaki is not gonna be able to stand like this. You have to put some type of feet on it so that when you glue it, it has something to stand to. Okay, so I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers and first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna bend these forward like feet. So there's one, here's the other one. Okay, so make sure you're standing good. Looks good to me. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my needle nose pliers just on the tips here, and I'm just gonna bend this around. See how I did that? Same thing here, bend this around. Now don't worry about all this stuff because a lot of this is gonna be covered in the end anyway, so if it doesn't turn out exactly perfect, um, we, can, we have ways to, to hide mistakes. All right, so there you go. Uh, don't mess around with them yet um, until we put the clay on them, okay? Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you how to put the clay on the body of this. So this is my armature and I've bent it into the form that I want it to be in. So let's say I'm making an ice skater, let's say, and she's skating on the ice, okay? Um, I'm gonna make two things. I'm gonna make a head for this and I'm gonna make a body cavity for this. And that's it. I'm gonna let the wire become the bones and the limbs of my object. So everyone has about an ounce of clay. This is paper clay, which means it's air dry clay. You don't have to fire it. And uh, you wanna keep this wrapped at all times in your plastic wrap, otherwise it's gonna dry out on you. Um, and don't mess with this so much. Like the more you mess with it, the more dry it gets and then it's gonna crack on you 
and you're not gonna have a nice end result. So make sure you keep it packaged up. So here I have my bit of clay. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna roll this into a ball to make the head. So here we go, something like this, okay? Now I'm not gonna leave this just like this. I'm actually gonna add some detail to it. It's so hard to see. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch the side with my fingers. And give it some cheekbones. See how that is right there? Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give it I really can't see that. I'm just kind of rubbing out the wrinkles in it because I want it to be nice and smooth. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give him some eyes. I'm going to just take a pencil, stick it in, then I kind of roll it around. Give him like a nice eye socket there. I really can't see. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side here. Just roll it around. There you go, that looks good enough. Okay, so there are his eyes. There you go. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an old paper clip. Okay, I'm going to open this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and I'm just going to bend the tip of it and I'll have some of these ready for you and this is actually how I'm going to make its mouth. I'm going to use this tool. I'll come back to my face and I'm just going to, I'm not going to drag this across, I'm just going to push it into the clay and roll it just like that. Okay, so he's toothless right now, I don't have any teeth, so I'm going to take the tip of that tool and I'm going to kind of wedge it in there. to give him some teeth. Now, if I don't like what I do, I can always roll him back out, but I'm thinking he's good. That's good enough, okay? So now I'm gonna take my body, and because this loop is a little big, I'm gonna take my pliers, I'm just gonna squeeze this in a little bit, shrink it down. Keep it nice and tight though. And I'm just gonna take his head and I'm just gonna push it right on top. Reform it just in case I have any bumps on there. And he's looking pretty good. Really hard to see that. Yeah, he looks good, good enough. Okay, so I have my head and my face on there, looking pretty good, hard to tell. Um, but next what I'm gonna do is his body cavity. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of my clay. I wanna keep some just in case I wanna do something with it later. So I'm gonna give, take myself maybe like half of that. So maybe like a third for the head, maybe like a third for the, the chest. But it depends, if you're gonna put clothes on him, and cover up this part, then you don't need to do this part. But um, if you're gonna be able to see this part of his body, you probably wanna give him some type of chest. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna roll my clay into a ball. Remember to keep that clay nice and covered. Okay, now because your chest cavity is a little bit more oblong, I'm gonna roll it into like an elongated egg. If I have a crack in it like that, I just smooth it out with my finger like that quickly, okay? So here we go, that looks good. That's gonna fit on him about here. So now look what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna push this right on top of his chest so that I can see it in the back. Now I'm gonna pinch this around to connect it in the back and then smooth it down. Pinch it really good. And just kinda smooth it down with your thumb. Try not to have any cracks. The, the tip of your fingernail works really great as a smoother here. Okay, here's the front. I have a crack right here. I'm gonna try to get rid of that. And uh, if he's still loose tomorrow when he's dry, what I can do is I can hot glue him in some places, or her, 
to make sure it's not wobbly anymore. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so I'm going back to my paper to clip tool. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the rounded edge side for this and I'm gonna give them some ribs. So I'm gonna start in the middle and I'm just gonna push a little bit and then I'm gonna roll it around to the side. See like that? I'm gonna go down a little bit more. Roll, don't drag it, otherwise it chews up the clay and it gives you these weird rough patches. You just kind of got to make a little bit of an indentation on his side there. There you go. I'm gonna flip him over. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna roll it around. This is super important to roll it, you guys. Otherwise, um, you know, the less you mess with this, the better off you'll be in the end. There you go, give him one more on the other side. Something like that. You can always bring it around to the back. Oops. Bring it around to the back if you need to. There you go. Hard to see. Guess what? I'm not going to mess with him anymore. He is good to go. Oh, you know what? Actually, I can. I'm going to give him one more thing. Um, this is optional also. I'm going to give him some joints. So for his elbow, I'm just going to take a little tiny piece of clay and I'm going to stick it here around his, his elbow joint. That might have been a little big. There we go, something like that. Make sure you pinch it so it's connected all the way around. Maybe do the same thing for the knee. Um, I will definitely need to hot glue this piece because it's going to want to move around on me tomorrow. And then I'm gonna, I would do that to the other joints also, but then I'm just gonna, that's it. I'm gonna put them to side. I'm gonna let them dry. And tomorrow I'm gonna paint the whole thing white. Make sure you put a piece of tape on here so you know whose project is whose. All right, have fun. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so today I want to show you how to do the details in here um, of your skeleton. So the first thing I do is I have a really small pointy tip brush that I'm going to use. I wouldn't use a thick one for this because it's not going to work. And then the next thing I've done was I've actually taken my paint and I've thinned it down here. Look how nice and thin that is, almost like an ink, ink type of consistency which is is perfect for this okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll my brush into a point of course first and take my guy if you can see his face too close maybe there we go um, I'm just going to go ahead and set my brush into some of these holes here. And because there's little divots, the paint automatically goes in there. It actually works pretty well. There we go, something like that. Let me do the eyes. something like that and even I could even give him a little nose if I want to kind of forgot about this part there we go voila and he is done as far as his face is now look if I made a mistake um, all I'd have to do is take a wet paper towel and wipe this off if I didn't like it okay and then I could always touch it up again with a little bit of white but um yeah, I don't really mind that look. It kind of looks like vintage-y to me. So, come on back in there, get that cleaned up. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the ribs. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of set this in here and then it kind of just wants to run into those holes. 
The good thing about it being nice and watery is that if I make a mistake on here, if I make a mistake or it's too thick, I can just wipe it down with the paper towel and uh, basically the black is going to set up in those grooves. It works kind of nicely for that. I wouldn't, oops, I dipped in the wrong paint. I wouldn't do this with thick black paint. It's not going to work as well. It's going to be really thick and it's not going to want to spread for you. I kind of like that rubbed out look. Do the other side. pretty good. You can always give them a little bit more details if you wanted. Voila! He's done. This was the third take of this video. Thanks to my assistants who are now snoozing.